Welcome everyone to Midday Magazine for this February 20th, 2024. I have your host, James J. Mailoff here. Joining us right now, CEO of your United Way of Southwood and Adams Counties, Terry Johns. Good afternoon. Terry, we have to put on our business hats. We do. Um, and we before, have to be very mature. Before we do that, I want to thank you for the amazing gift. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Happy birthday. sweet. Thank you very much for that. Um, I uh, am embarrassed, so I'm going to move on. We... we <laughs> <laughs> Terry, uh, we got a lot of things to talk about with our friends over at the United Way and the work that you guys are doing over there. One of the things that I, uh, I always appreciate and I like bringing attention to is your funding applications. Uh, you've got that up and running. Yeah, we do. So this is a good... Um opportunity to kind of talk through even just what our funding process looks like. So so the general public knows and also people who have made a donation understand how the dollars get back to the community. So our funding application is open right now and this is for all areas of funding within our United Way. So we fund programs um, in the areas of education, financial stability, health, and then safety net service. All in total, there are 20 programs, 20, uh, Actually, I take that back. I didn't think about both communities. 29 programs total. Mm -hmm. So um, that the dollars that we have to allocate are broken down. But first, we need to know who, need, who needs money, yeah, right? Yeah. Who, who's looking for funding? So those um, agencies in the communities that we serve, which is Southwood County and Adams County, agencies within those communities can, can ask for program funding because we don't just fund general agencies. That's an important you know, kind of note is that um, we don't do any capital expenditures. So if you're putting up a new building, we're not your funding source. Um, we are all about programming and how dollars get right to the right to community members. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, all agencies can apply for program funding now. Um, that application is open through 4 p.m. on February 29th. Um, it has to be filled out online. Mm -hmm. We don't accept paper applications. We don't accept partial applications. So if you are a, a program listening, you know, you may want to, if you think you would qualify for United Way funding, you should work on it now mm -hmm. um, because there are several pages. It's not intended to be cumbersome, but it's really intended for us to be able to get to know your program, yeah. right? And and really have a clear understanding um, what it is that you do, who you're serving, how you measure impact. And that's an important piece, right? So if you mm -hmm. say... Hey, I'm I'm the Sunshine, you know, program. Right. I'm gonna we're gonna serve a hundred community members in this is 2025 funding too, mm, by the way, right? right, right. So in 2025, we're gonna serve a hundred community members. Well, we want to know what you're doing, but then mm -hmm. we want to know how you're gonna measure that. How will you know? Mm -hmm. How will we know mm -hmm. that you've served um, 100 people? What are the barriers that you face? You know, what are what are some ways that we can engage and, and work together and, and maybe work through, you know, some challenges? Um, are you a nonprofit in good standings? Um, that's important to us, right? Mm -hmm. Have you have you maintained um, good standings with the state and, mm -hmm. and done all of the the back office paperworky mm -hmm. kind of things? You know, th those are important. Um, we ask them to provide us with a budget. You mm -hmm. have to provide us with a program budget. Here's how much we're going to bring in in 2025. Here's how we're going to spend it. Um, and of course, part of that budget would be you know what they're asking for from from united way in theory right so so this is um this is kind of how the the process goes it's been open we open it actually for the whole month of february mm -hmm. so it's been open for a couple of weeks i um, mean we know that you know some of our uh, long time existing partners are you know are working on it but we have an open application process so of course any program that meets the criteria um can apply. There mm -hmm. is no guarantee to, for funding, and there also is no guarantee from year to year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of our partners are long-term partners, mm -hmm. um, and and part of that is because over the years we've really um, worked with a lot of different programs, and we've also, you know, or I guess we're not we're not shy about or not afraid to mm -hmm. say if there's a program that maybe is just kind of. Uh, not so great you know we might say hey here's the changes you need to make you know we need we need your program to be at this standard or um you know we need to make sure that you're having a, a greater impact serving more how can we make that happen so sometimes we stop funding programs mm -hmm. sometimes programs no longer need our funding um a really great example and a wonderful program is healthy smiles mm -hmm. so this is a a sealant program for children for their teeth and we funded Healthy Smiles through Wood County Health Department for years and years and years and years. Mm -hmm. Well, one year, probably, gosh, it's been a while now, maybe like 2015, 2016, um, the person who ran their program came to us and said, hey, we're not applying this year mm -hmm. because we have enough reimbursement from yeah. from you know insurance that mm -hmm. and Medicaid that we can claim. So we we've become self sufficient. I mean, wow. that's fabulous, that right? Really is, you know, huh? she said I'm not saying we're never gonna apply again, <laughs> but right sure, now, sure. you know, right now we don't have a need. And so there are situations like that. So 
for the most part, I would say we kind of have a, a good, strong core group that mm-hmm. continue to um, help us reach the goals in the community that we are trying to reach. But sometimes programs come and sometimes programs go. So it is an open open application process. When it comes to that process, you've kind of given us a bit of an outline already, but what is something if uh, they've never done this before, you're, you're that Sunrise company or that or nonprofit or something, and you're looking to doing this, are there some other details you should know before trying to fill this out or jumping into that? Well, a good thing to know is just that you, you don't have to do it in one sitting. Mm, so yeah, you do have yeah. the ability, you do have to create an account on our website, and that's the only way. We can't, you know, mm-hmm. we don't have like a paper version you can come yeah, pick up, yeah. right? But you do have to have an account on our website, and you can save and come back and so oh, so nice. that is nice you know mm-hmm. what i mean if you get in there and you're like oh i don't i don't know i have to yeah, research yeah. this or mm-hmm. you know there's also the classic right the phone rings or yes. you you know you you yes. have to you can't you don't have uninterrupted time Life so happens. to speak yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it is, a, you know, it is, it is good. We do on the cover page have a lot of it laid out, you know, saying you'll need this, you'll want this, have this close by, you know, th- that kind of thing. But but you can save and come back to it. So I think that's the biggest, you know, biggest thing um, that we've put in place for mm-hmm. the ease of the person who's filling it out. Another thing that comes to mind and, and what you've mentioned, and I, I appreciate the example you gave with uh, the Smiles organization because um, you guys cover so much at the United Way. And if I'm a listener and I'm, I'm hearing this and I'm thinking, well, this is already covered. I don't need to worry about that. But maybe there's something in a gray area or something that, you know, is a field that you guys don't necessarily touch on. Uh, we want to encourage people to reach out with those ideas, too. There are no bad ideas with this subject. Maybe not everything gets uh, funded, but there are no bad ideas of, of trying, at least. Yeah. And if it doesn't fit, I mean, we'll just tell you, yeah, hey, it doesn't yeah. fit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or, um, you know, sometimes we'll have, we might have a program that doesn't meet all of the, the application requirements. And so, you know, then honestly, the response is, you know, hey, try again try again next time right yeah. but but sometimes we also uh, you know a, a new program will get to the the stage of actually you know getting to do a presentation and and closer to the to an actually being funded but but again there's no guarantee it's whatever you know whatever we can raise in the in the fall campaign which is you know kind of the the linchpin of this right yes. like if we don't raise it we can't we can't distribute it and it's all the more reason why when we're, we've got that fall campaign going on, why we uh, want your need your help so much and appreciate it so much because we're able to do so much with it. Absolutely. So then the next step in the funding process, really, James, is that, you know, we I talked a little bit about the accountability piece. Mm-hmm. But but one of the things that we do is all of the programs that we fund, um, we visit like actually yeah, in person, yeah. go and visit those. So that is happening. Um, actually, our first visits are starting today. Oh. Um, this is for 2024 funded programs, mm-hmm, yeah. right? Not the ones who are applying for 25, yeah. but in many cases they overlap. Yeah, yeah. And so we will be visiting from February 20th until I believe the last one is March 14th. Mm. So over that like three week time frame, um, we will visit all of the programs that we fund. Um, those visits are led by our community engagement director, Ben Eberline. And then um, our review panel volunteers are invited, board members are invited, staff. Um, and so we, we really, um, you know, want to see mm-hmm. all the good things, like mm-hmm. actually see it happening yeah. um, that are going on. And then it's also a good time for programs to tell us, you know, hey, I'm having a challenge with this. Yeah. You know, what is there someone you can pair me up with? Is there someone we can be connected with? So I think that's really good, too. So those are going on now. Then the next step in funding is yeah. we have um, in April – the agencies that are asking for program funding actually come before us in a face-to-face format. Cool. Um, we have a panel of volunteers that will read the written application, submit questions, um, and then they will sit for, it's nearly a full day, mm. um, they will sit and hear 20-minute presentations from the agencies that are seeking program funding. Mm. So, you know, that's really awesome too is that they they get to come and by then our, our panel of volunteers, these are, you know, community members Mm -hmm. um all we have a couple of staff people there but more to guide um and help facilitate but but these volunteers you know they really put a lot of time in they read all of the applications Mm. which is a lot they formulate questions from those um they come you know and, and sometimes i mean this maybe sounds silly but sometimes it's hard they give up a whole day and they are in the room and attentive and, you know, staying away from their technology yeah, and, you know, laser focused easy. on the yeah. programs. And sometimes that's just, it's just hard. Yeah. And so we, we very much appreciate them for that. And then at, at the conclusion of the presentations, 
then we move into a deliberation stage where those agents or those um, volunteers, sorry, will actually come up with funding recommendations to the community impact wow. um, panel of our community of our board. So it's it's the it's really funny. We have some longtime volunteers that have volunteered with us in a variety of capacities. I mean, mm -hmm. everything from day of caring to something like this. Yeah. And they say this is single handedly the most difficult volunteering that they've ever done because because you want to, you know, obviously all always yeah you want to say the yes asks, to everything. well and yeah. the asks exceed what we have to allocate sure. right i mean yeah. always right yeah. if if we have five hundred thousand dollars to allocate the asks are going to be a million you know yeah, i mean it just exactly. it just is yeah. like that and and we're not special that happens to most funding sources i think <laughs> but uh but it but it makes it really difficult especially yeah. when we've kind of weeded out already over the years you know the programs that are kind of mediocre and these are like these are the top dogs, right? Like they're mm -hmm. doing great work. So it is it is tough, but it's a really great experience. And, um, you know, looking forward to working with those those volunteers. Always thankful for the uh, behind the curtain look that you give us with this. Uh, and, and, and I think that not only adds to why the United Way is so supported, but also why we see the needs that we do in our community so well. Uh, the United Way puts that magnifying glass on these things for us and gives attention to them where some of us are fortunate enough that they don't, we don't run into some of these problems. They help us aware of them. Um, there's two really great notes about this process, and I, a couple of them I think that are really in, in, important. The accountability for these businesses and these nonprofits is certainly noteworthy, with a lot of people donating to these to the United Way to go to these things. Um, but it's also it's not just accountability; it's also assistance. You mentioned something really important there. I think uh, I, I'm starting this business, this Sunrise nonprofit, and I've got this, and I get the funding. Great. All right. Well, now what do I do? Mm -hmm. Or, oh, I got questions. Or, oh, this is coming up and stuff. Having their back like you do, the United Way does, is just as important as that accountability part. And I think that that gets lost in the shuffle a little bit sometimes for us. So I think that's really unique. And then to have citizens helping make these decisions, that is so amazing. That is exactly what this community needs. It's what communities need. You're, what, it's, it's the answer to what we're trying to do here with the United Way. The United Way wants to help the community. The community is helping make those decisions. It is awesome. And it just all happens very organically. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes I think that's why we even – forget not intent but you sure, know like like yeah. like the whole you know when you said we might convene some people together or help them through a challenge like that's just second nature right yeah, like yeah, like we don't just yeah. always even think about talking about it because it's just part of part of what we offer to our partners uh, when, and uh, this uh, funding application will wrap up again uh, for uh, the uh, United Way of South Wood and Adams Counties on February 29th at 4 o'clock. So make sure to get your applications in before then. And if you have questions, reach out to the United Way. Love to answer those questions for you. Terry, I have rambled quite a bit about my free taxes. I am a big <laughs> supporter, big fan of it. Um, I, I have actually uh, talked to a member of the IRS. Uh, I don't know how deep or what her position was necessarily, but I was talking with her because I had a question about something the first year I did this, and I was a little worried. Uh, I, you know, it, your taxes are one of those things you want to make sure to get right. Do right, yes, um, yes, yes. And, and I thought, well, this process was too simple. So I literally like talked to somebody at the IRS. Like you wait on line? Customer service. You wait on the phone for Forever, yep. yeah. I waited forever for that call, <laughs> but I had to make sure. And it was the, one of the quickest conversations I've had. I talked to her. I get out of my mouth. So I was using my free taxes and I was a little curious. And right away, she's like, it's understandable. We get calls from this sometimes. Your taxes are fine. Like, it's, yeah. did you do this, this and this? Yes, I did. You're good. You're OK. This process is so simple. For somebody like me, my kids are older. They're not, you know, t counted as, you know, um, dependents, uh, dependents yeah. yep. now. I, I, I have the tube jobs. I, I, my, my taxes are pretty basic. Um, for somebody like me, this is so perfect. But it's also beneficial to a lot of people out there that are in similar positions or make so much amount of money. Absolutely. So we have a really great partnership. And when I say we, I'm thinking globally with United Way Worldwide mm -hmm. um, has has entered into a you know relationship I guess with with my free taxes and so this is something that we as a local United Way can offer members of our community um, to have tax preparation done for free um, it is done online uh, and you visit our website which is uwswac.org there is a little banner at the top that says you know my free taxes click here to learn more um, and it does give you a little bit of detail of you know what might qualify or not qualify but but really if you have a pretty um, basic you know tax return mm -hmm. and your household income was less than seventy nine thousand dollars in the year of 2023 you qualify to have your taxes prepared for free 
There's a partnership with a an online program called Tax Slayer. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like I'm sure that people more common ones people have heard of TurboTax or yeah. you know like that. Yeah. But it is a it's a similar software um, company, and basically you just enter in and you can use your smartphone, right? You enter in your um, take a photo of your Mm W-2s and any other supporting documentation that needs to be entered. You answer the questions and then your taxes are processed for you um, at no cost. The idea here is that we can help save people Mm -hmm. dollars that they would need to use on on tax prep that could then otherwise be used somewhere else in their budget, right? So, you know, we're not trying to undercut any, you know, any local businesses or anything like that. But the idea is just that if someone has a pretty basic return, they meet the criteria of less than um, 79,000 for the year, and they don't have intricate schedules, you know, that have to be filled out with their taxes, it's just, it's an awesome free service that we have the ability to offer and, and think about if it's, let's say it's 200 bucks, mm-hmm. right? So you could have 200 more dollars for your food budget, for your rent, for how about for an emergency fund, right? Yeah. Like to just set that aside to have some savings. So, you know, it's just win-win, right? It, there is the intricacy, though, of you have to be able to, you know, do it online. You can't, like I said, you can do it from a smartphone. Mm-hmm. Um, it is mobile friendly. But keeping in mind that if you don't have a, you know, a tablet or a PC at home or a laptop, you could do it at the library. Um, you know, there there's different, you, there is different access points, certainly for um, computers if you don't already have that. For me, uh, one of the things that I wanted to do to pay it forward, because I appreciated this in the United Way doing this, when I first saw that, oh, I'm not having to spend that money on taxes, uh, you know, having somebody do them for me, I took a portion of that and put it into the Imagination Library. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's where I go with it. I, I don't put that on anybody, just giving you an idea of, uh, yeah. and, and what you can do with that versatility that is given with this. And I will say to uh, our local businesses out there that do taxes and everything, I, I think, it, be blunt about it, the people that are going to be using, that can use this service, probably weren't going to those services oh, yeah. anyway. Yep. So, you know, a win-win for the community, too. Mm-hmm. I think that that's noteworthy. And this, um, the uh, shout out to Tax Layer and to the company that's working with the United Way on this. I think that's a really good note, too. Uh, I, I appreciate that. And I think, too, just by based on the questions that they ask you, um, they also might be discovering some, um, you know, tax rebate kind of c- scenarios that you wouldn't do on your own. Mm-hmm. Um, not that, you know, I, I think that paper is being completely phased out. I mean, yeah, I think you can yeah. still do it, but I think it's, you know, certainly on its way out. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying it's just different versus, you know, you just doing it on your own versus using something like this where you're prompted to think about things that you're like, oh, yeah, I guess that could count, right? Like, or, oh, I could I could claim that on my taxes or, or whatever the case would be. So um, it is very user-friendly. I've had several people. Of course, you know, you've been a great testimonial for it. Um, but, I, you know, we've had other people contact us and mm-hmm. say, you know, gosh, it was really easy. Yeah. Or they kind of get hung up. And, and maybe like you, where you were not skeptical, but just wondering, you know, like, yeah. like, is this legit? You know, we've, we've sometimes had people call and say, okay, it just asked me for this. And we're like, okay, just put that in. Mm. Just that? Yep, just that. Just you, know, that. you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yes, like, there's yes. no, nobody's <laughs> trying to trick you. Like, it's, it's yeah. just that. So I just encourage people, if you, if you call it, if you fall within the parameters, take a look at it. If it, if it can't meet your needs, fine. But yeah. if it can you know, take advantage of it. It's That's why it's there. Yeah, it's definitely worth looking into. Uh, you can find out more information and uh, find uh, that link for that website at uwswac.org. We're speaking with CEO of Union United Way of Southwood and Adams County's Terry Johnson. Terry, wanted to wrap up on uh, Power of the Purse, one of our favorite events. Yeah, this is just coming up really That's fast. Right around it's the so corner. exciting. Mm. So we have um, Power of the Purse coming up on March 12th. Um, this event is uh, geared toward ladies in the community, mm-hmm. um, encouraging them to come on out with their with their girlfriends or maybe their daughters or, you know, whomever. Um, yeah. the, the, gather the women in your life and, and join us for this event. The event supports, all the dollars raised support early grade learning and literacy. Mm-hmm. So our Women United, which is an affinity group of our United Way, hosts this event. This is the 13th annual, wow. which is really crazy. That's really cool. Um, so really exciting um, event. And it will be at Bullseye Golf Club uh, on March 12th from 5 until 730. So kind of a happy hour style event. We say hors d'oeuvres, but it's, you know, we actually do a pasta bar. So mm, that's fun. It's it's nice. a meal. <laughs> yeah, it is. It so is. there's, you know, there's food. Um, there's always a bullseye always provides a signature drink, so to speak, where, you know, if you if you purchase that drink, um, alcohol or not or no, you know, a dollar of, of that goes toward the toward the effort. So I mean, you know, there's some fun stuff like that that happens. We have raffles. Mm. 
And we have a really great for the for the ladies out there who are listening and know this Dooney and Burke um, mm. purse and and wallet set that we have raffle tickets for right now. So mm. maybe you can't have, attend the event, but you could buy um, raffle tickets. Dollar a piece, six for five. So super oh, easy. Wow. Great um, and those can be purchased from any Women United member or at the United Way office. So we have that raffle. We have raffles the evening of that you have to be present to win. Um, we will be. We also have door prizes. We're going to play a little bingo. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of great things. But but really, the the main event, so to mm-hmm. speak, is a handbag silent auction. So there are um, 22 raffle purses wow. um, that people can come. You purchase an event ticket, um, which is thirty five dollars in advance. Again, can be purchased online at our website or by coming to the United Way office. So with your ticket, then um, that you can come and bid on. But on those purses, we have some really awesome, awesome purses. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just she's it, chomping at the. I'm just looking forward to it. Like they're great. She's trying not I to would it. encourage <laughs> you to um, for like the ten days prior, we do little sneak peeks on our Facebook, cool. so that'll you know hopefully get you over to our social media. But we'll show you know some of the purses, so you, so you know. The other thing I just want to say about that is. We do have a fair number of people who attend who say, you know, not really into purses, but they come because they believe in what we're doing. So by helping to fund Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, if you're not familiar with Imagination Library, this is a book gifting program for children from birth till age five. So children in our community here in Southwood County can have a 60 book library by the time they go to kindergarten. I mean, that's amazing. (laughs) What is better than that? At absolutely no, no cost to their family. So that's where the dollars are going. We're supporting classroom grants. We are um, supporting our reading mentor program, which is happening in elementary schools. All of that is supported by this event. That's how great and robust this event is. But we need ladies to come. Yeah. So I would say, you know, last year we had a record number of attendees, and that was 120. My goal is 150 this year. Yeah. We're just going to, you know, Let's we're going to go it. for it. Let's do so, it. So, um, you know, just really encourage you to, if you've been there, join us again. If you've not, um, please come. Please bring a friend. And, you know, if you have questions, just give us a call, 715-421-0390. And uh, is this an RSVP event? It is. So you do have to have – you can purchase a ticket at the door. Mm -hmm. Um, They are $5 more at the door. So Mm -hmm. if you know you're coming, do it ahead of time. Otherwise, um, yeah, we we do welcome people at the door because sometimes you just don't know what you're doing. Don't Mm -hmm. not come Mm -hmm. because you didn't buy a ticket in advance. Spend the extra $5. It'll be worth it. Yes. (laughs) March 12th, 5 to 7 over a beautiful Bullseye Golf Club. Uh, Join our friends from the United Way for Power of the – purse we'll be talking more about this event as we build up to it terry always great talk with you thanks so much for the time you bet thank you find out more at uwswac.org and be sure to follow the united way on social media great way to keep up on things in your community we'll take a time out and we'll uh, have more great radio coming up for you right here at wfhr locally grown radio